What's up everybody? Thank you for coming back and if you're new, welcome. And so in this video, I want to talk to you about how you can properly track your marketing efforts using Google Analytics and tracking actually what is driving traffic to your website through the different social media platforms you're using. So let's get started. In this video, I want to talk to you about how you can properly track your marketing efforts using Google Analytics and tracking actually what is driving traffic to your website through the different social media platforms you're using. So let's get started. Okay, so we're in my personal Google Analytics account for my business right now. I want you to look at this little graph here um, that goes through what mediums are driving traffic to my site. So organic is anything that's gonna come up on Google and none is usually direct traffic. And then referral is the social media channels that are driving traffic to my website. So you can see that referral is a big traffic driver for my particular business. And so we wanna know what social media channels are driving traffic to my website, okay? And this is going to be really important whether you're running paid ads or if you're actually just doing organic traffic. Like a lot of this is organic, it's actually not paid. And so I wanna know what platforms are going to work best. So I have an Instagram account, I have a Facebook page, I have a TikTok account, and I also have a YouTube channel. If we click on this drop down menu, you'll see first user medium, first user source, and then we can actually look at source and medium together. So I'm gonna have you click on that. We're gonna break down a little bit more. So I can see that two people came from YouTube, five people came organically through Google, and then eight people came through Facebook, and then the majority of people come from Instagram, and then we see 20 people come through direct. And so I want you guys to understand that People are counted as direct if they go and type in your website manually. Like, for example, I DM a lot of people my website link, and so they would just click on that link directly. Even though I actually referred them through Instagram, it's gonna show up as direct. So I already know that most of this traffic is coming through that, but I wanna be able to prove it, right? And so I also wanna take a second and explain the difference between source and medium to you. Medium is the mechanism that delivers users to your site. So examples of this is like organic traffic or if you were paying for ads, it would show up as cost per click and that's usually shortened to CPC. And then it'll show up as referrals, email or none and direct, okay? Which we see most of those here. Source though provides more information about the medium. For example, instead of saying just referral, it'll actually give us the link that brought that traffic to. And that's what I want you guys to set up on your social media platforms today. So what we're gonna do in order to do that, I want you guys to go to this website that is complimentary through Google Analytics and it's called Campaign URL Builder. I will leave a link to it in the description box below, but you can easily just Google uh, Google Analytics campaign URL builder and this page will come up for you no problem okay I want you guys to enter the URL to the direct page that you want people to land on this might seem like it's going to be your basic URL link that directs you right to your home page on your website I would encourage you to rethink this because if you are directing people to a specific offer, you wanna make sure you link them directly to the page they need to go and not a generic website. Now, my homepage on my website is set up to actually funnel people to the workshop. So in my particular case, directing people to a generic website page it actually works for my particular business, but it may not be for yours. And so I want you to think that. For example, I have clients that direct people to their order a free sample page, in which case you would actually have people go directly to the order a free sample page. You wouldn't make them hunt around for it on your website, okay? So it's just something to stay mindful about. What's important here is you wanna know what your source is. And this is why we I explained to you guys what medium and sources are. Our source would be coming from Instagram, okay? 
And then we also want to say what our medium is. So this would also show up as referral. I'm going to call it social because it's social media. It's coming from a social media platform. Specifically, it's coming from Instagram. So I'm going to leave it as that, okay? And then you can also give yourself a campaign name. I would encourage you to use a consistent campaign name throughout just to keep things clear and organized for you when you're looking at the analytics. So like I said, I have a client that does an order a free sample campaign. So we would say order a free sample. And then when I go to the link, I already know that that's exactly what that's promoting. And it's a lot less confusing for me to look at. And so you can add campaign terms and you can add campaign content. I'm not going to go through this a whole bunch because I don't think it's that important. For campaign content, I like to use this if I'm trying to track a specific post. For example, if you were to go in Pinterest and create a pin, it's going to allow you to create a link to your website. So I actually like to create personalized links for every single pin that I post on Pinterest because if a particular pin is driving a lot of traffic to my website, then I want to put ad spend behind that pin, right? And so this allows me to get very detailed and very organized on which specific posts are even performing well for a particular client. And so what I like to do here is I would maybe say a specific date that that pin was posted. So I would say if it was today, it would be November 7th, uh, 2021. And then once again, when I'm looking in Google Analytics, it's actually just going to give me the dates and I'm going to know, okay, the pin that was published this day is the one that's performing and driving a lot more traffic. So that's when I would use uh, campaign content. But like I said, the primary things that you're wanting to look for is you want to add your website URL link, you want to name the source and you want to name the medium and you want to give it a campaign name so that when you're looking back in Google Analytics, everything's making sense for you. Okay. Once we have all of this filled out, it's going to give us a link right here and it gives us all the information that we need. So Instagram shows up and then it says social because that's what I have up here. And then it says campaign equals workshop because I called it workshop, right? And so you would actually click this and you would copy it and then you would actually go and you would put it directly in the URL link on your Instagram page. So what you're going to do is you're going to head into Instagram and you're actually going to paste the link that we just made. So we're going to get rid of the generic link that's there without the tracking. Now it might be a good idea to go ahead and use a bit.ly link to shorten it or something like that because people may not like to see the UTM source because that means that, you know, they are being tracked and a lot of people don't like that. But now every time somebody clicks on this link, I'm going to know that they clicked on that specific link. Okay. And so regardless of whatever social media channel or platform you're using, you would go and do the exact same thing for, like I said, I have TikTok, Pinterest, all these different things. Now, when it comes to YouTube, I would want to know which YouTube videos are driving the most traffic, right? So I would say YouTube for stores, and then I would leave campaign medium because that hasn't changed. It's still a social media platform. And so I'm still driving people to join my free marketing workshop. And so what would be different in this case is, like I said, I'm recording this video on um, November 7th. So I would put in 11-7. So this video is going to get posted today too. So I would leave that in and then I would copy and paste this and I would use that in the link in the description box below. So if you guys were to click on that link right now, and I would know that it's this specific video that brought you to my website. Okay. So I hope that this is really easy to follow and really simple. Once again, all the things that you need to know would show up here. So I would see a lot more links than what I do here. All I know from this is that YouTube brought two people to my website. That's all this tells me. I have no idea what video they watched. I have no idea if they clicked it from my about me page or if they clicked on a specific video, I have no idea where this specific traffic came from. And that's just why you're trying to collect a little bit more information from it. And you would do the same if you were running a paid ad campaign. If I was doing a campaign content, let's say 
it's a November campaign that I'm running, right? And it's to drive traffic to my workshop. So I could leave this as workshop too. And I would have my campaign source, so it's coming from YouTube. But what I would do is I would change this to cost per click and that shortens down to CPC. And that's what I would do for a paid ad instead. So when things come up here, there would be an option, like instead of saying Google organic, if I was running a Google ad, it would say, Google cost per click and I would know that that was a paid campaign that brought that traffic into my website. Anyway, I hope this is a really short, quick video to help you track your social media metrics a little bit better and a little bit more in depth. And if you are interested in learning more about Google Analytics or tracking websites, I do go through the whole process of setting up your Google Analytics. So if you're not quite at that point where you're ready to start measuring social media campaigns then by all means go check out that video i will make sure i link that to this video and if you're looking for just overall you just need more help with your marketing i do have free workshops that you can go and join for free and it gives you the whole a to z i go through how to do a marketing plan target market research social media marketing on a whole bunch of different platforms and then also how to bring in direct leads to your business as well. So if you're interested in any of that content and a little bit more in-depth organized content, then I suggest you go check that out. But I will see you next Sunday. Thank you for being here and thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. That really helps me out. And I hope you have a wonderful week.